All right, and we are back here on the GSMC Baseball Podcast. For the final segment of today's show, we are going to preview the games for this upcoming weekend. And uh, my dog, again, laying outside uh, my bedroom door, and she just went running down the stairs, so I don't know if uh, somebody's home or something. I, I'm, I was suspecting that she would start barking. Um, but, oh, nope, she's coming back up the stairs, so never mind. Uh, so hopefully... Uh, she doesn't bark, but you know, it's a again. It's like it's a it's a you know, you never know with uh, with that, and it's happened a couple times. It's happened on the stream. It's happened on the Patreon. So yeah, we're just waiting for that to happen. But uh, yeah, so with that, let's get into the final segment of the show. It's previewing the games uh, for this weekend. So obviously, uh, I alluded to it before, but. You got the Mariners and the Rangers this weekend. And that is a huge series. And that's definitely the one to really pay close attention to because these two teams are fighting for wild card spots. And, uh, you know, listen, they still have a chance. They have a great chance at the division right now because the Astros, um, you know, are only a half game up on both of them at the moment or a game and a half. Or no, yeah, a half game up on both of them. So, that I mean, that could change this weekend. I mean, we could see the Astros now in, in the wild card instead of the division. Um, but big series this weekend, uh, 8.05 Eastern time. It's in Texas. So you got Dunning on the mound for the Rangers, and you got Miller on the mound for uh, the Mariners. So that's tonight's game. Then, this, uh, then Saturday, uh, tomorrow... You got Gilbert on the mound, and right now the Rangers don't have. Right now it's to be determined. At least uh, it's, that's what it says on MLB. Um, and then Sunday, uh, as we will take a quick look. Uh, right now, uh, Wu is the starting pitcher for the Mariners, and the Rangers again. It just says to be determined. So, um, I mean, I could check. Well, you know what else? CBS. They sometimes they have the uh, how it lines up. So let's see. Let's see if they have it. Yeah, I'm just, that's weird that it's not up yet. I mean, I know the Rangers, all right, so right now on CBS, it has Montgomery lined up to pitch on Saturday. Um, MLB says to be determined, but yeah, so Montgomery against Gilbert, at least that's what it's what it says on CBS. And then Sunday's going to be Woo versus Evaldi. Okay. So again, that could change, but MLB, it still says to be determined, but CBS has Montgomery and Evaldi. So yeah, I mean, We'll just have to see. I mean, Montgomery's been good for them. Evaldi, you know, at one point was a Cy Young candidate before he got hurt. So, you know, I mean, we'll see. But it's gonna be, um, it's gonna be a lot of fun. This series is is one of those is the biggest series really for this weekend. I mean, you got you got Blue Jays and Rays. I would say I would probably rank that second. Um, Brewers and Marlins. I mean, for the Brewers, they're trying to clinch the division. Marlins are trying to you know, keep themselves in that third wild card spot. Obviously, this team is not going to the playoffs, but you got the Cardinals and the Padres, and this could be, this is a big series for the Padres, you know? So, um, yeah, but right, I I think really you got to focus a lot of your attention on Mariners-Rangers. That's, that is a big series. And listen, they play each other to close out the season, but... You know, we'll just see how we'll see. It, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun, but um, yeah. So then we look over at the uh, the Rays and the Blue Jays. Their series. So you got Chris Bassett and uh, Tyler Glass now going at it. So that's a good pitching matchup. Um, you know, so and this is at Tropicana Field. So that's the first game. That's uh, that's today. Tomorrow is Littell against uh, Hunjin Ryu, who's three and three with a two point six two ERA since he's come back from injury. So he's been he's been good for them. Um, and that's big, especially giving them another arm. So Kikuchi is getting the start on Sunday as of right now against Bradley, and he left the game against the Yankees early. He was dealing with an injury, so um, but he's a, he's been good for them. Ten and six, three point seven four ERA. Bradley's five and seven with a five point three six. So, um, but that's the the Blue Jays in the Rays series, and that could definitely. Uh, you know, that could go bad for the Blue Jays. Because, again, Blue Jays are not careful and they lose that series. I mean, you know. But then again, the Mariners and the Rangers are playing each other. But, 
Yeah, they. Uh, but if the Blue Jays can, uh, you know, take that series with, uh, you know, the Rangers and the Mariners playing each other, that can, uh, you know, that can really help them because they could kind of maybe, you know, widen the gap a little bit, you know, and get, you know, cement themselves as the second wild card at the moment. And the Rays, this is big for them because trying to catch the Orioles. And right now they are, like I said, they're a game and a half back. And, uh, you know, it's it's still possible. They still they still got a great chance. I mean, I still like the Orioles' chances because, yeah, so they're playing the Guardians right now. They lost yesterday. Then they play Washington, and then they play four against the Red Sox. And those games are at home. So I, I'd like to think that they get it done and they clinch the division. Rays obviously got to deal with the Blue Jays who are fighting for the wild card. So... Ray's got a tougher schedule at the moment, but again, you know, any they they're they're a very good team, and they could still, uh, you know, you know, take the series against the Blue Jays, and they play them again. So, um, you know, it's going to be tougher for them as opposed to the Orioles with based on the opponents. But you know, the Rays are a very good team, and uh, listen, the Blue Jays again, and I've mentioned this several times already. You know, they've had a history over the past couple of seasons where in a big spot, you know, they uh, they kind of uh, they kind of fold. So uh, that's something to keep in mind. But maybe this year's different. Hopefully they get Vlad back because, again, still dealing with an, a knee injury. But we'll just have to wait and see. Um, but, yeah, I think that's uh, when it comes to the American League. I mean, you know, the Twins are playing the Angels. So they're, you know, they should win a game and wrap up the division again by this weekend um but yeah that's pretty much it when it comes to the again orioles continue their series with the guardians astros play the royals and they got valdez pitching tonight and uh, against raggins who's been uh very good for the royals that was the uh, and i talked about that with the uh that he was involved in the oldest chapman deal um with the rangers so uh we'll see what happens with that Astros are at home, so hopefully they can, uh, for them, they get back on uh, the right track, pick up another win, because they did, uh, you know, salvage the last game against the Orioles. So, uh, you know, listen, the Royals have lost over 100 games. Sweep them. Go out and sweep them. That's what you got to do. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much it when it comes to the American League. And then you move over to the National League side of things. Um you got the Diamondbacks playing the Yankees, so you got uh, Fad on the mound tonight, two and eight with a five point eight six ERA. But hey, listen, he outdueled uh, Justin Steele the other night, so you figure, uh, hey, maybe. Uh, I mean, he's playing against the Yankees, so he should. And, you know, the Yankees are not good against pitchers that have, you know, five six ERAs this year. So you figure, uh, you know, he's going to pitch well. Um, so that he, you got him, and then you got Luke Weaver pitching for. The Yankees, it's just so weird. Luke Weaver is pitching for the Yankees? Like, what What are we doing? I don't know. Um, all right, so we'll have to go back to CBS because they don't have... Um, so they got a, a Zach Davies is on the mound right now, it says, uh, for the Diamondbacks for Saturday because it says to be determined on MLB. So I, I don't know why, but that's just how they have it. And then you got uh, Nelson going for the Diamondbacks on Sunday against Clark Schmidt. So that's the matchups for this weekend for the Diamondbacks. So, I listen, I think they should take that series. But, again, anything is possible. But, um, I you know, you favor the Diamondbacks because they got something to play for. But, again, as a Yankee fan, I'm just hoping we could at least stay over 500. I, 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 I just don't want to finish with a sub-500 record. I, I really don't. But, but again, I'm not going to be parading around, you know, my house if they if they end up doing that because this season's just been a disappointment but yeah so that's that series for this weekend cubs play the rockies uh you got tyone on the mound and he's seven and ten with a 5.27 era hasn't been great and he's going up against davis who's 0 two with a 9.58 cubs got to win tonight they they got to take this series otherwise they're again they're going to be on the outside looking in then you got Chris Flexton on the mound, who's one and eight with a seven point one nine ERA, going up against Wicks for the Cubs, who's three and one with a two point six seven. So that's Saturday's matchup. Then you have on 
Sunday, you got uh, Black uh, Blatch, I think. Is that how you pronounce it? Three and two with a 5.37 ERA against uh, Assad with a four four and three with a 3.04 ERA. Again, I if I'm butchering these names, I uh, I apologize because I don't know it, it's. I don't know that some of the pronunciations for these, and uh, I guess it's, I guess it's Blatch for the Rockies. I don't know. So that's uh, that's the matchup for this weekend with the Cubs. So again, go and take the series. Uh, the Reds they play the Pirates. You got Abbott on the mound for Friday for tonight. Then you have um, for tomorrow. You have Phillips on the mound. And then for Sunday, you have Williamson. So, yeah, I mean, listen, got to take that series if, if you want to. Uh, you know, Pirates aren't haven't been good this year. And, uh, you know, the Reds, they need this. So, um, that, those are the pitching matchups there. So, Brewers and Marlins, you got Corbin Burns and Char Gois. I Again, I don't know. I, I really don't know how to pronounce some of these names. Uh, he's pitching for the Marlins. I mean, Corbin Burns... That's easy enough, right? Um, so that's going to be tough for the Marlins. Then tomorrow's matchup, uh, you have, uh, let's see. I'm, I'm scrolling through. I'm trying to find it. All right, here we go. All right, so, oh, yeah, and then it doesn't get any easier. You got Brandon Woodruff pitching, and then they uh, and the Marlins got Lazardo pitching uh, tomorrow. So, yeah, it doesn't get any easier there. You got the two best pitchers, and then you got Peralta, who's been good. And they got uh, the Marlins got Cabrera pitching on Sunday, so yeah, that's uh, that's going to be a tough series for the uh, the Marlins, and we'll just uh, leave it there. But yeah, um, yeah, we'll but we'll see. Listen, they swept the Braves, so you know any, they could uh, you know they could go out and, and do really well against these very good pitchers. But then again, they are missing some of their key guys, Jake Berger and Arise. So you're hoping they're back uh, for these uh, for these games. Um, you got the Cardinals and the Padres. Uh, I talked about who was pitching this weekend for them. They got Waldron. They got Martinez. And then on Sunday, they have uh, Michael Waka pitching. Now, you know, some of these guys, like Waldron, he's got a, a 5 ERA. So you're hoping that, you know, I mean, the guy that the Padres are going against, he's got a 5 ERA, Hudson. So you're hoping, you know, the Padres go out there and they, uh, you know, they sweep. Because if they sweep, I mean, odds are they're going to gain some ground in this wild card. So, um, yeah, so that's uh, that's that series. Giants, they continue uh, their series with the uh, with the Dodgers. Tonight it's on Apple TV. So if you got that and you want to check that out, it's on Apple TV. You got Sean Manaya and Ferguson tonight. Uh, tomorrow Kershaw is pitching. So that's, you know, not good for the Giants. And then you got Lance Lynn, who's been, he's been okay with the Dodgers. Um since coming over so actually let's look at his numbers very quickly uh but right before we uh we wrap up here so with the uh with the with the dodgers he's six and two with the all right so he's got a 4.67 era which is not good but he's six and two um and with the uh with the white Sox this year he was six and nine with the 6.47 so um but yeah i think that's uh phillies play the mets this weekend um but I, I think they pretty much – they're not going to fall out of the top spot. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. And that this uh, this segment flew by. Um, and the show flew by. So, with that, that is all the time that we have for today. Uh, as always, I thank you guys for watching. Uh, we'll be back on Monday. Um, and we'll see where everything is, you know, standings-wise and who clinched and who hasn't. Because the Twins probably will by then. But, yeah. Um, That'll be for Monday's show, uh, so have a great weekend, and uh, I will see you guys then. So, as always, I'm Kenneth Gruenfelder, signing off from the GSMC Baseball Podcast, brought to you by the GSMC Sports Network. Have a good weekend. I will see you guys Monday, and uh, until then, I'm signing off. Again, have a good weekend, and uh, see you guys Monday. Take care.